welcome you to Dance Marathon 2001. We are here live and we're going to be here all day as you see opening ceremonies coming at 10 o'clock. We're on today from 9.30 to noon and from 8 to midnight tomorrow from 9.30 to noon and again for the closing ceremonies from 3 until 6.30 p.m. And we welcome you to the Student Recreation Center. I'm Dan Spieler, along with Doug Whitmire and Jessica Hollenbaugh. It's great to be here. It is. It's another year of 32 hours of dancing, all for a great cause, and uh, Dance Marathon 2001, hopefully better than last year, as uh, each successive one does get better and better. And let's hope we're in for another good, good one this year. Every year it's a great event. Uh, they're raising money for terminally ill children, uh, some, some of diseases that they may never recover from. And they're here today uh, to dance with the kids and kind of get a new sense of life really these it's kids bringing them in here dancing with them talking with them it's a it's a wonderful time and of course they raise money every year last year they raised two hundred thousand dollars yeah and it keeps growing every year dollars. actually the first year it started in 1996 they uh raised forty six thousand dollars about there and it just keeps growing and growing so we'll just see maybe we'll make three they'll make three hundred thousand this year we'll see yeah, and they're, they're here we go. Here comes. Here they uh, come. Let the fun begin. Here comes the steering committee right now to get everything started. And you hear nothing but screaming right now. Dance Marathon 2001 is underway. The steering committee, and they're followed by the first dancers. 350 of them this year. Let the fun begin. Looks like they're going in the exit, Doug. It's amazing. That can't be good. It's an amazing sight. It is, it really is. And if we can take a look up by the stage, they've already congregated and are beginning to dance. Megan Hayes is live with one of the dancers who's already entered Dance Marathon 2001. Meg. Thanks guys, I'm here with Shelly Sands. She's a dancer this year. Shelly, how do you feel? I'm very excited, I can't wait. I'm all pumped. What are you gonna do? Everyone's running out. How do you feel right now? I'm a little nervous, but I'm very excited. You did this last year. Do you think? How do you think this year is gonna go? I think it's gonna be a lot. I'm, I'm excited. I think it'll be a lot of fun this year. What was the last thing you did right before you ran out here to get ready? I was sitting down. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. Well, good luck, Shelly, making it through the 32 hours. Back to you guys at the desk. They're gonna have to build a new gym. Uh, <laughs> added on to this one because Dan's Marathon keeps growing. They're just going well, to have to add on to the rock. Th there's uh, Matthew Sester, uh, a member of uh, BG24 there, was just in the picture. He uh, still works uh, in the organization. He was an anchor last semester. There's Matt Sester right there. We're going to be, be hearing, hearing from, from him. him. We'll right. be hearing from him throughout Dan's Marathon. He'll be doing a little uh, reporting as uh, Sue and Megan are this, uh, this morning. He'll be doing some uh, later tomorrow and later this evening. And uh, he'll also maybe step up to the anchor desk a little bit. Uh, and of course, morning. stay on his feet while he does it. <laughs> but uh, he, he will be along as well and uh, add a little perspective from the dancer's point of view. This is Matt Sessner, by the way. He's yes. uh, our own BG24 member, and he's dancing this year. He's our own dancing member. That's why he's standing and I'm sitting down. Yeah, I, I'm not allowed to sit. I'm actually not this short. <laughs> I just, you are. I am pretty though, short, yeah. but. This year we have other colleges that are participating with us. These kids are doing a great job. Look how many people are here early this morning. I don't know if they'll last till tomorrow <laughs> afternoon, but they're great. It's wonderful. You know, I was in the Kroger supermarket and I saw someone with a dance marathon sweatshirt and we started dancing right there at the deli counter. Her name was Lisa. She's chair of finance for Dance Marathon. She's very proud of all this effort. It's wonderful. Everyone is so proud of it. And Dr. Whipple, we were talking before, Mayor Quinn was here. It's a oh. tremendous event just because, you know, it brings the university and the community together for a great cause. Oh, that's right. It's just, it is a wonderful community builder and uh, uh, the city of Bowling Green now really gets excited about this event. It's a major event here on campus and in the community. And another email uh, from a morale or to a dancer. This is an interesting one. This is to Jody Barr, who is dancing. You are you were an awesome awesome moraler last year for me. This is from Nate Mass. Uh, Nate danced last year. He's so happy that he can return the favor and keep you psyched up this year. Uh, you're going to do great, and I can't wait to see you uh, for first shift. Whatever that means. Well, the Morellers guess... have different shifts that okay. they come in, so that must be that. <laughs> I thought he was talking about going back to work on Monday. Yeah. And then if he, was on, too. And if he was on first shift on Monday, that was not going to be a happy shift. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I don't think anyone will be that's been involved here. I'm sure the teachers are pretty nice about letting uh, those who who are involved not go to class on Monday. I know a few of my professors uh, 
have told the dancers that's okay, you can take Monday off. I'm joined here by Rose, who has very rosy cheeks today, with her dance marathon spirit. Can you tell me a little bit what's going on? I'm assuming you're on the red team here. Yes, I'm on the red team. Um, we're waiting for them to come up and teach us the first uh, little part of the line dance, so we're just waiting around trying to keep type. It's being a dance marathon today, and it's going to be a fun trip. Can't wait. How have you been involved with Dance Marathon in the past? Um, last year I was a moraler for the yellow team, and this year I'm going to be for the red team. Hopefully next year I'll be a morale captain. Who knows? That sounds great. So next year you hope to be the person that's going to be teaching everybody the line dance. Yes, hopefully. So. Okay, that sounds great. Well, good luck with Dance Marathon, and keep everybody's spirits high, as high as your hat, hopefully. Yeah, for the kids. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Some incredible moments today. Uh, we had the Miranda Morris Memorial just before that. Uh, really an amazing time. There's a group on campus, the Sigma Chi fraternity. They spent this dance marathon weekend not dancing, but riding their bikes 185 miles from Cincinnati all the way up here to Dance Marathon. Uh, we have some video of that if we can take a look at it in just a minute here. An unbelievable bike ride, and they raised $11,000. They had pizza, people sponsor them. Of course, all the money this weekend going to the Children's Miracle Network, raising money for children with terminal illnesses. This was uh, their arrival uh, at the rec center this afternoon, uh, about 2.45 this afternoon, returning from their trip, and you can just see the excitement look at the of the reactions. dancers. Wow. And, uh, of course, some tears as they arrived. Really, really a touching moment. The dancers, or the bikers, rather, here they are as they make their entrance. This is on tape uh, from just a few moments ago here at Dance Marathon. There they are. Quite a sight. Uh, one of the emotional moments. Uh, many more to come this afternoon. One of the highlights of Dance Marathon so far this year. Uh, quite a sight when those uh, bike riders entered into the gymnasium here at the rec center. All the dancers uh, surrounding them, as you can see there on video. Hugs, uh, tears, emotions uh, running high as we near the end of Dance Marathon this year. And uh, like Dan said, $11,000 just by uh, those members alone. We're standing out the, by the side of the stage. I'm with Sarah and her family. Sarah's one of our miracle children that just came off the stage a little bit earlier. Sarah, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of emotions going on right now. How do you feel? Um, I'm very happy and thankful and overwhelmed by how much these people care. You talked earlier about your sponsors, the sorority, getting you pizza and stuff. Tell me a little bit about what you did when you met your sorority. Um, they called down to my house and they set up for me to come down to their little sorority house on Thursday. And they just had all sorts of food and we just spent like an hour or two just talking about everything and it was just so much fun. It was great. So you got a little bit of a glimpse of how things were going to be today. Did you expect anything like this? This is actually more than I ever expected. It's just so much bigger and there's so many more people than I thought there would be. How do you guys feel about all the help and support that everyone has for the kids? It's overwhelming, especially when we were standing up on stage and seeing everyone up there. That was awesome because I didn't realize how many people were there and how much they care. Can you guys imagine staying up for 32 hours on your feet and not sleeping? No, I'd probably phone claps. <laughs> do you think your family would ever let you do that? I don't know. Hey guys, uh, this, is a, this is a cool site right here. I'm here with the, the AO Pies, and they're the ones that bidded for the Raggedy Ann and Annie dolls. Now how much did you guys actually pay for these? We paid $250. These are actually Jody's dolls, her personal dolls, so that's why we bought them for her. How, how do you, why did you give these dolls up today? So that, so I help other kids with the money who are sick. And um, what do you, what do you want to say to these guys? Just to say thank you, and then I'll, for them for dancing and for buying my dolls. Okay. Now, like I was, I was saying earlier about about ten minutes ago that there's a there's a lot of tears here today, but um, obviously this is going to be. <laughs> One of the happiest moments of all your guys' lives. What do you What do you say? It is one of the happiest moments of our lives. I mean, Jody was our inspiration through the whole thing. She kept us going for 32 hours, so we owe her a lot. We're just happy to be able to help her. Okay, and any uh, Any final thoughts? What's going through your mind right now? I'm pretty excited to see the total and the end of it all. I'm excited for Jody too. She's this is her first dance marathon, so I hope she liked it. Well, we're excited that. Um, People like Jody can have people like you helping her out. Thanks a lot, girls. Back to you guys. Okay, Casey, thanks a lot. Uh, a very special interview with Casey O'Brien.